Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to continue our data-driven testing within Postman using CSV file. And we'll discuss if, say for example, you have multiple attributes that you want to pass, right, in, within from your data file. Uh, previously, we have just understood about the issue names. Now, say for example, I also want to pass the issue title or something else, right? So you simply create a new column for the particular value that you want to pass, okay? or read from the data driven file. So I'll just have the heading for the issue title as issue title and I'll name the issue title as this is or let me append this so data driven. Okay, so we know that these issues are created from a data driven or using the data driven approach. Okay, and we'll simply say this is story. Okay, and then similarly, we'll have the others. So here I'll say bug and talk. Okay, so now say for example, how we were doing these title before. So if we go to the postman collection, let me close this. When we were, when we were creating the kish, um, creating the issue type, okay, then we were setting up the random phrase, okay. So you'll say, so here you'll see that we have used replace in for the random phrase, right? Now we do not want this random phrase anymore. We want to read that title and then store those title from the data file, okay. So what we'll do, say same concept, okay. So in the pre-request script, of create issue type okay we'll simply read it from the iteration data right so we'll say pm dot iteration data right and then we'll say iteration data dot get and what we are trying to get we are trying to get the key which is issue title okay so i'll simply get that issue title key and pass it as string here okay, okay. something went wrong okay all right so you'll see now we have the issue title okay so we are we are basically getting the iteration data issue title okay and then there is a bracket that is missing there so now instead of the random phrase that we had used previously within the script now we are getting that issue title from where from this particular csv file the data csv file which is the external file so the when the story will get created the title for the story will be this story this title that we are providing then the bug will have this title task will have this title okay so now how we are going to basically execute the execution is absolutely simple and similar we'll go to the collection right and then from the collection we'll go ahead and run and because we are running this the data is coming from the external file so we'll simply select okay and select the external file so test data.csv will open that okay and then if you preview this time you will have the issue name as well as the issue type okay so now the with each iteration this issue name will be checked okay or basically with each iteration this issue will name will be picked up its issue id will be stored in a variable then issue title will be picked up and the issue will be created with this particular issue title then second iteration will create a issue title or issue type bug with this title and third iteration will create a issue type task with this particular type okay now if we have any further or if you want to use any further data in a particular iteration you keep adding those columns there and adding further data okay so it's that simple so now if i go ahead and run this whole collection all right then you'll see that three three iterations will happen okay so you'll see three iterations have happened all the test what is the response time and the duration it took right so if we now go to the response see ideally you will be having or testing everything in the response right i am showing you in the ui here because ui is available for us right now when you are doing api testing most of the time ui won't be available so you have to basically analyze the request and response details here itself right so for example in the response um, you have to go through the details right so if you see the request this time you will see that this summary has been replaced with the summary that we have provided from the data driven right so this is how you are going to replace the multiple attributes right so the issue id and the task right so if we go to, to the ui as well if we refresh you will see those the new issue types that have been created okay so the story has a different summary bug has a different summary and the task has a different summary okay which we have specified in this csv file okay now the next thing is to understand now basically if we go back to our collection here so if i now go ahead and try to just create an issue type story right now because i have had this pm dot iteration data dot get which is getting the data only from the iteration right so this will cause a bit of problem when you want to independently run these requests 
Why? Because say for example, if I go ahead and say get all issue types for the project. Okay. Now we know that this issue type we are getting from where we are getting the issue name we are getting from the iteration date. Okay. The external file. So if I go ahead and send this and show you the console, it will throw an error, right? So cannot read properties of undef undefined. Okay. So if I clear it and run again, you will see cannot read property or reading ID. It cannot read it. Okay. So why this particular error? Because we have, we don't have any, you know, issue name because it's coming from iteration data and we are not specifying when we are running this particular request individually, we are not specifying any of the iteration file. Iteration file is applicable only when we are running the whole collection. Okay. And specifying the iterations there. So how we can fix this so that it works independently as well as if we provide the external file as well. So instead of doing doing this PM dot iteration data dot get, we know that iteration data or getting the data from iteration is getting the the variable scope at the data driven level, right? So if we if you remember there was a scope postman scope uh, image. So let me quickly try to find that out. Okay. So if you go to the variable scopes here and there was an image. Okay. So iteration data is basically the data variables, right? Now, if the there is a collection variable, even though with this particular issue name, it will still won't pick it up because we have hard coded or we have specified that pick the iteration data. Okay. Now, if we simply change this iteration data to simple, you know, like variables. So wherever that particular variable will be found, if you provide the data file, it will be picked up picked up from the data file. If it is available in the environment or collection variable, it will be picked up from there. Okay. So in order to fix this issue, what we'll do is we'll simply say PM dot instead of iteration data. Okay. We'll simply do, we'll change it to PM dot variables. Okay. The property variables. Okay. So PM dot variables dot get and the issue name. Okay. And then this issue name will define it at a collection level. Okay. So if we go here, we can then define it at a global level or collection level. Now, because this is more of a specific to collection, so we'll define it at a collection level. So if we are trying to execute the script individually, okay, just independently, then it picks that collection variable, which we have defined. If not, if it is coming from data or the external file, then it will pick from the data variables as well. Okay. So simply instead of iteration data, we'll simply say PM dot variables dot get. Okay. And then in the collection, what we'll do, we'll simply define one particular value. Okay. Or one variable issue name and assign a particular value. Okay. So at this time, if I simply go ahead and send without assigning this particular value, we'll st see, still see that something went wrong. Okay. And still it is throwing that same error. So if I go ahead and go to the collections again and let's define the variable issue name. Okay. So we'll go to the variables and here, We'll simply add a new variable at the collection level as issue name. Okay. And we'll simply say, okay, we just want to have a variable story or, or the value as story. Okay. Save it. And now if we go ahead and say or execute this. So this time you will see that it has actually executed. Okay. No error at all. So I clear it. Send again. You will see that this time it has basically picked up from the collection because we have independently executed this particular request okay and then we have got the response right so we have got the response as well okay for the particular issue type now if we go ahead and execute this same script through the data driven approach we will be still be able to execute it because when we are providing the data file then in that case what scope will be picked up accordingly right so it will automatically detect that yes we have provided the data file then it will pick the values from the data variables the data variables that have been set here in this particular file. Okay. So let me do those changes. So here I have done the changes. Now, if I go to the other request, let's do those changes here as well. Instead of the iteration data, we'll simply change it to the variables. Okay. So this will fix everything, right? So now if I go ahead and run the collection again with the data. Okay. So now we know that individually these requests are also working and then we'll ensure that this whole collection is also working with the data driven approach when we provide the external data file. Okay. So I'll simply go ahead and close it and click on run again, the collection level and let's choose the file, open the file, it's preview. So again, all of this, these issues will get created in this iteration, three issues with the issue title that we have specified there. 
okay if you want to change let's change the issue titles okay so we append one save this particular file close it you'll see that it has updated right it has one against each of these and then if i run this whole collection okay so you'll see that it has done three iterations the duration and the tests have run successfully okay so now if we go and see the project here okay refresh all issues you will see three issues have been created with the value one that we had changed right 20 21 22 accordingly and also our individual requests are working right they are not failing as well because now we are not hard coding this iteration data right we are just saying okay pick any scope of variable right so if i i'm sending here now it is basically getting a variable which is defined at a collection level collection scope if i'm running it through the data driven approach it is picking up the variable which are defined at where at the data variable levels okay so this is the benefit of using the variable or fixing any of these sort of issues okay so this is about the data driven testing using the csv file within postman you can extend this solution for further complex scenarios in your project but approach is absolutely same it doesn't matter how complex your project and scenarios are you can use same approach to do data driven testing using csv file in post so that's all for this video keep learning keep sharing thank you very much